this video we will be discussing about two concepts so what are they first it's about deuterium forming water that is heavy water so first we are going to discuss about heavy water and second we are going to discuss how hydrogen peroxide acts as bleaching agent or it how hydrogen peroxide is having bleaching property okay bleaching nature bleaching nature of hydrogen peroxide so let's come to our first topic that is heavy water hydrogen has three isotopes we know that and deuterium is one of its isotope hydrogen has two uh, three isotopes they are protium deuterium and tritium and second isotope is your deuterium so deuterium can also react with oxygen to form water similarly we, uh, we know that hydrogen can react with oxygen to form water half moles of oxygen to form one mole of water this is the standard reaction for formation of water okay so same way deuterium deuterium is nothing but your hydrogen only hydrogen the here it is one one isn't it atomic number one mass number one but deuterium it is h12 here also it uh, reacts with oxygen to form water h2o but it is one two so instead of writing complicated structures uh, or symbols such as h one two two o this is nothing but water so instead of writing like this we are going to use instead of writing h one two this is your deuterium we are going to use another symbol d indicating deuterium so how can we rewrite the second equation the second equation can be re rewritten as hydrogen hydrogen in the form of deuterium that is d2 reacts with half o2 to form d2o this is your heavy water why it is heavy water your normal water what is its molar mass molar mass of this normal water is 2 into hydrogen molar mass that is 2 into 1 plus oxygen is 16 so it is 18 gram per mole this is your normal water molar mass whereas for deuterium we know it is hydrogen 1 2 this 2 is the mass so it's actually molar mass is actually 2 times the deuterium deuterium is 2 plus oxygen is 16 so you are getting 20 atomic mass units 20 gram per mole so this water has its molar mass more than normal water that because of that more molar mass we call it heavy so it is heavy water okay so heavy water is this d2o nothing but hydrogen in the uh, second form that is its isotope deuterium okay okay so reactions of uh, heavy water is very similar to reactions of hydrogen peroxide so what is the reaction first reaction given in your textbook we will compare the reaction with hydrogen first with hydrogen hydrogen reactions i'm using short form and second is deuterium reaction deuterium reaction first reaction is with calcium carbide calcium carbide cac2 is calcium carbide Re reacts with water to form calcium hydroxide caoh twice and ethene is formed ethene you know so it is actually c2h2 c2h2 is nothing but ethene e t y h y n e e thine okay so this is the first reaction with normal hydrogen isotope normal hydrogen not isotope okay so here deuterium and we are going to react instead of h you simply write d nothing is there so because it's hydrogen only of another form calcium carbide reacts with deuterium forming heavy water to form calcium cao d2 gives ca O D two. This is nothing but calcium hydroxide formed from deuterium plus calcium. No, sorry, C two D two. This is nothing but ethene formed from deuterium. This was the first reaction. Second reaction is sulfur trioxide. Sulfur trioxide can react with water to form sulfuric acid H two S O four. The same way, deuterium forming water, heavy water, can also react with sulfur trioxide. 
sulfur trioxide reacts with deuterium D2O forming water heavy water to form H2SO4 so instead of that D2SO4 D2SO4 this is the only reaction this is also sulfuric acid but formed from deuterium okay then third Al4Cl3 aluminum chloride Al4Cl3 aluminum chloride of this particular type reacts with water to form CD4 sorry nothing CH4 methane methane gas is uh, evolved along with aluminum hydroxide AlOH price this is your normal reaction aluminum chloride reacts with water to form methane gas and aluminum hydroxide this is the reaction and its complementary reaction with heavy water also can form Al4Cl3 Al4Cl3 reacts with heavy water D2O to form instead of methane we can write CD4 CD4 is nothing but methane of deuterium and aluminum OD3 this is how the reaction takes place so three different types of reactions same comparison we have done okay so this is the uh, particular reaction and what is the use of heavy water is it is used as moderator in nuclear reactions it can be used as a moderator moderator means to control the number of neutrons produced okay to slow down the neutrons this can be used and it's also used as coolant in nuclear reactions coolant means to reduce the temperature in nuclear reactions okay so this is how we uh, explain about heavy water now another thing is the bleaching nature of hydrogen peroxide how can you say that hydrogen peroxide can act as a bleaching agent bleaching nature of hydrogen peroxide is what we are going to discuss now bleaching nature bleaching property bleaching property of hydrogen peroxide we know hydrogen peroxide can decolorize textiles okay that means remove the color bleach hydrogen peroxide its decomposition reaction we know it forms water and oxygen gas it's not one step reaction in the first step of the reaction what happens is hydrogen peroxide gives water and nascent oxygen is produced hydrogen peroxide gives out water when it is present uh, sunlight is present and eliminates nascent oxygen nascent oxygen is highly reactive oxygen atom this is highly reactive highly reactive highly reactive oxygen atom can attack the textiles because of its it want to combine into uh, and one more oxygen to obtain uh, into oxygen state o2 state so it is highly reactive because of the nascent oxygen it is bleaching nascent, ox nascent oxygen is what <coughs> what is the property of nascent oxygen nascent oxygen can combine with another nascent oxygen to form oxygen gas so nascent oxygen actually want to get oxidized what gets oxidized is reducing nature so we can say that overall it is bleaching in nature bleaching nature is actually produced by nascent oxygen whenever nascent oxygen is present bleaching property occurs okay then another uh, same thing is actually going to happen here okay what is the next reaction Hyd first reaction was hydrogen peroxide decomposing to form uh, water and nascent oxygen so i for uh, I forgot to write it is nascent oxygen or free oxygen atom which is highly reactive then this nascent oxygen can attack hydrogen peroxide again which hydrogen peroxide the unreacted hydrogen peroxide it's true it gets attacked by this nascent oxygen to form again water again water will be formed along the liberation of oxygen gas this is what is happening first reaction on nascent oxygen is produced that nascent oxygen is highly reactive it again attacks the hydrogen peroxide and it can attack in attack means new, uh, what attack chemical attack okay attacking the bleach uh, the colored substance also it can attack and remove the color the properties the bleaching nature this oxygen again attacks hydrogen peroxide and rips off and one more oxygen for 
forming oxygen gas. So this is forming oxygen gas and after ripping off an oxygen from hydrogen peroxide, water is formed. So add both the reactions together, you are getting 2H2O2. Gives 2H2O plus O2. Right? We can cancel out the common nascent oxygen from both sides. So through this we can say that due to the presence of nascent oxygen evolved, produced in the first reaction, because of that only hydrogen peroxide acts as bleaching, nature, bleaching agent. So this reaction takes place in presence of sunlight. This is photoly photolysis, photolysis and as well as disproportionation reaction. This is not a single step reaction. This occurs in two different steps because of the first step and second step forming nascent oxygen in the first step, we can say that it is responsible for decolorizing or bleaching nature. Okay. So I hope you understood. Thank you. And please do like, share and subscribe.